Hello everyone, Heather Holmes here with KTV Fox 2 News in the San Francisco Bay Area. And joining me this afternoon is Brant Clausen. He's going to be talking about a website uh, just launched that connects medical professionals uh, with states where they are actually needed. And Brant, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you, Heather. Pleasure to be here. Well, let's talk a little bit more about this website. Tell me what it does. So the website is called medicalstaffnow.org. And what it does is it connects medical professionals with states uh, in this COVID-19 crisis. So when a state is asking for volunteers, there's a variety of different types of medical volunteers they're looking for. But when they ask for those volunteers, those volunteers have a place to go um, and, and otherwise volunteer and help out in this, this crisis. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the type of medical professionals that are looking to help and the type of professionals that are needed. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, just by their inherent nature, a lot of medical professionals want to help any way they can. And so uh, it's a broad spectrum there. But as far as the states are concerned, it varies by state. Some states are looking for, you know, obviously doctors and nurses and EMTs and those types of things. But other states are looking for respiratory therapists, uh, mental health type um, professionals and so on. So it varies by state. And how many states do you have right now that are participating? Currently, we have 22 states on the site. Uh, the site launched about two weeks ago. Uh, we were fortunate enough to have uh, a few states help us in rewarding and getting uh, what we needed on the site so that we could do it in five days, which was uh, quite a miracle, actually. And <laughs> yeah. uh, but we got it out there so that we could start utilizing it right away. Yeah. Um, and, and talk a little bit more about the need that is out there. Yeah, I mean, the need is the need is a lot. And you, you've seen our governor, Governor of California, and Governor Cuomo in New York talk about, hey, we need we need you medical professionals right now. And so that's really the catalyst for this. And we saw that that need, but there wasn't necessarily a place for people to go. And so we wanted to create that. But yeah, the need is, is overwhelming. I've talked to all 50 states about this project, and everyone's very enthusiastic about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and, and tell me why you felt like it was so important to create this site. Well, it just kind of came to me in the middle of the night, actually, uh, that there might be a need for this. And I started working with our, our team um, and looking at if there was actually a need. And after looking at how all 50 states do it, um, it was that there needed to be something, a centralized place uh, for the public, public uh, medical professionals to go to volunteer otherwise be vetted by these states so they could help in this crisis and future crises. Yeah, that you were you and I were talking and you were saying that this won't end uh, once this pandemic ends. No, it will not. I mean, unfortunately, there's going to be other things that come up in the future uh, where we'll have, you know, there's other parts of the country that have hurricanes and tornadoes and so on. And here we have earthquakes. Uh, so there's always going to be a need for something like this. And what's nice about medicalstaffnow.org is that it's ready to go. And so that when there is a future crisis, uh, the states don't have to set up new websites. They don't have to have a new inbound. They can just use this and they can start vetting people and getting people on board uh, much faster. Yeah. And you were also mentioning that this is pro part of a, of a broader mission for you. That's right. You know, our team uh, is we're part of You and Blue, which is our parent company for medical staff now. And You and Blue is a nonprofit organization that specializes in working with law enforcement and the public. Uh, to help solve crimes in our communities. It's essentially like a modern online crime tip line. And, and tell me how that works. Well, it works a little differently. It, the, the catalyst for that was the 2013 Boston Marathon bombing. Uh, and we were, we were observing how law enforcement was engaging with the public and asking for information. Um, it was, you know, call this phone number or here's an email address and those types of things. And a lot of people had videos. Uh, of, of what went on at that, at that finish line. There's thousands of people at the finish line at the Boston Marathon. And a lot of those videos were being sent via email so they get quarantined or they don't show up. Uh, they, they were, people were dropping phones off at precincts and those types of things. So the purpose of uh, You and Blue is to kind of streamline that process, that collection process. So it allows um, the public to provide images, videos, and documents on cases that law enforcement is looking for help on. So it's a centralized place very easy for people to find cases or, or agencies where they want to report crimes, new crimes too, threats to schools or businesses are a part of it as well. So we're just trying to have kind of a national centralized area where the public knows where to go. It's kind of like an online 911 in the way that there was a time when we didn't have 911. So you had to call your local police department and you didn't know that phone number. So we look at um, you and Blue as sort of the 
new version of 911 for this type of information collecting this type of yeah so just like you're streamlining that process that's, that's right. what you're doing here in, right. in 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 your response to COVID 19. that's right yeah. yeah and and talk to me about how it feels to know that that you're you're serving the public right now and you're connecting um two things that really are important to be connected right now yeah i mean it's it's uh it's, it's humbling and affirming at the same time. I mean, it's one of those things where it's, it's great to be a part of it. And we are a team of, uh, there's a number of people that are involved in this that uh, we work on this together and we all have the same mission and we all care about our community and we care about making things better. And it's, uh, so it's very rewarding to be able to do that. Um, especially now, right now we're all sheltering in place. It's very easy to feel like you're not doing anything. And so uh, it's good to be able to, to create something that is hopefully helpful. Yeah, and what is your ultimate goal? You said you have, you know, twenty-something states. I'm, I'm guessing you would like for for all of the states to sign up for this. Yeah, we'd like to have all states, and it's a public, it's a, it's a, it's a resource for them. It's a free resource for them to utilize, um, and we want to actually take it international if we can. We've already given it to some um, countries in Europe, whether they use it or not, that's up to them. But you know. Because there's a lot, there's a lot going on right now, so it's going to take some time for us to get the rest of the states on board. But yeah, that is our, that is our goal, and maybe even at the county level too. So that's right. a bigger project. We're just about out of time, but but again, sort of the importance of having something like this during this time. The importance of it, yeah. I mean, I think uh, it's it's just speeding up the process and having it available to the public where they need where they can go because it is hard time hard sometimes navigating. Uh, some of the websites to find out where you can go and volunteer and we're all busy and so if you have a centralized area to do that it makes it simple because you have some people that maybe are here in California but they want to volunteer in New York and so they may not know where to go it's advertised here it's on the news here but you know, may not see where to go in New York yeah so you really build that connection you, you build that bridge if you will that's right all right cool. thanks again Brant uh, really appreciate it and, and good luck with everything Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.